How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be opening five exclusive card packs for Stronghold Kingdoms. So these are the card packs with a little star symbol on them and they're very rare. They're very difficult to find in the game because there is no way to purchase them. If you look at the card packs that are available to purchase with in-game currency, you simply cannot purchase an exclusive card pack. So I went ahead and I did a little bit of looking around to see where it is possible that I got these card packs from, and I'm still not certain, but the one and only reference I found to the exclusive card pack was for the deluxe bundle, which has been now discontinued, that was from the Git Games website. It was replaced later with the champion pack from Git Games, and the champion pack no longer included the exclusive card packs in it. Instead, it replaced them with the more standard super random and ultimate random card packs. So overall, I find that it is quite interesting that I ended up with these five card packs and I thought uh, others might be interested to see exactly what I would get out of them. On the page for the discontinued Stronghold Kingdoms Deluxe Bundle from Git Games, it mentions that there are several new cards that are included with the exclusive card packs. It says 10 new cards, see the list below. The new cards back then were Fishing, Heavy Haulage, Culinary Skills, Weddings, Instant Pig Farm, Big Bread Hall, Big Furniture Hall, Armor Hall, Improved Moats, and Small Swordsman Mercenaries. Now I know many if not all of these are in the standard set of cards now, and therefore are no, really, no longer really exclusive to the exclusive card packs, which makes them a little bit redundant. So what do you think I got as a result of opening up these card these five card packs well in the very first card pack i got advanced night working very standard card advanced outriders another standard card advanced recruitment another standard card uh, instant iron mine pretty standard and salt working it's all standard cards there for the first pack so i thought i'd try my luck again and open a second pack and guess what we got the exact same cards as in the first pack how peculiar. I really don't understand what the odds would be for that. So let's go ahead and open the third pack. Maybe we'll get something good. Okay, in the third pack, I got Advanced Metal Crafts, Expert Woodsmanship. That is a pretty good card because you can't actually buy it with uh, card points. A Retired Farmer, meh. Uh, Siege Engineers, it's okay, but uh, you can buy it with card points. And The Last Stand. So moving on to the fourth, and I found this rather interesting as well, you can see it's the exact same cards as the third pack that I opened up. Exactly the same, right down to the order that they're presented in. And then for the final pack, we got the exact same thing again. So I opened up five total card packs here. Three of them were identical, and then the other two were identical. So the selection of cards from the exclusive card pack based on this limited sample size is overall pretty bad. Really, it's pretty, pretty awful. I'm not exactly sure if they used to have better odds back when the cards were more exclusive, but I didn't get any of the cards that were mentioned to be exclusive for the exclusive card packs in the game's wiki page in my exclusive card pack. So I didn't get any of those exclusive cards, and the cards that I did get were repeated either twice or three times throughout the duration of me opening those card packs. So if you have any exclusive card packs in 2017, um, you probably should open them now because I don't really think they're going to get any better. Um, they apparently do not age like a fine wine with time. Uh, keep in mind, of course, that this was just my experience opening them up. I would be interested to know if any of you have come across these exact same card packs in your inventory. Where did you get them from? And when you opened them up, do you recall getting any sort of unique cards? Or did you also notice them being very repetitive as well? So overall, I, this has been a disappointment for me, but I thought you might like to see what I would consider to be one of the most rare card packs to find in Stronghold Kingdoms. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.